Did you know that if you create videos in Camtasia to upload to YouTube, that you can automatically create a clickable table of contents in the description box? Well, you can, and in this video, I'll show you how. Hi, Lon Naylor here, and if this is your first time to my channel, and you'd like to get cool tips and tricks for making awesome videos with Camtasia and PowerPoint, don't forget to subscribe and then click the bell thingy so you don't miss an episode. Let's get started. Here in Camtasia, I have a project on the timeline, and it's a little longer tutorial that has several main parts and topics. This is going to be shipped up to my YouTube channel, and what I'd like is to have clickable links in the description box that lets my viewers quickly and easily jump to specific sections in the video. YouTube calls these timestamps. You can do this manually by editing your video description and putting in the time you want to jump to for each and every section you want your folks to be able to get to. Yeah, it's kind of a pain, right? Meanwhile, back in Camtasia, I'm going to move the playhead to a point in time I want viewers to be able to jump to and drop a marker by pressing Shift M. Let's give it a name or a short description that describes the content at this point and repeat that process for any other timestamp links I want to create. And when you're done, go to Share and select YouTube as the produced video destination. You'll need to sign into YouTube and or connect your channel if it's your first time. Enter all the normal YouTube info, title, description, tags, and such. And then you see this nifty little option down here. Check the Create Table of Contents from Markers box. And then Finish. Camtasia will first render your video and then upload it to YouTube for you. And when it's finished, boom! You'll have the timestamp links automatically generated and put into the description box. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this little Camtasia tip. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment or question. Like or share if the mood strikes. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. And I'll see you next time.